Green coloured finches are common visitors to gardens and garden feeding stations. By far the most common and familiar of these is green finch, but if an unfamiliar green bird arrives, we find it is often by default identified as a serin. Serins are actually very rare visitors to the UK, and so the visitor is more likely to be a siskin or even an escaped canary. We will look at all four of these species to help you sort out the identification of a strange looking green coloured finch visiting your garden. As mentioned, the most familiar is green finch, a year round resident found across Britain and Ireland and absent only from the high mountain tops. They are found in gardens year round, with a slight dip in numbers in autumn. They're very common at garden feeding stations. They're the same size as a house sparrow and equally as stocky. Greenfinches are often amongst the largest of the visitors to the peanut feeders. Being large and aggressive, they're usually the dominant species, ousting other species and being argumentative amongst themselves. Heavy bodied, heavy headed and with a stout bill, the males live up to their name, being predominantly olive green, with darker shading around the eyes, greyish areas and bright yellow flashes on the wings and outer tail feathers. These are visible when perched and in flight. The females are a little more dull, with a brownish back and faint streaking. In summer, young birds visit feeders as well, and these are duller still, quite pale and streaked, with pale underparts. But, as with the adult females, they share the yellow flashes on the wings and tail, albeit less striking than on adult males. The next most likely green species to visit your feeder is siskin. Traditionally, this is a bird of the north and west, and it is still most common here where our birds breed, but they can be found anywhere near conifer forests. More common in winter, as our breeding birds move into gardens and numbers are supplemented by continental birds. Small and feisty, these tiny sociable finches can be surprisingly aggressive at feeders, punching well above their weight. The males have stunning green backs, white undersides with yellow head, chest, back and wings with striking black markings on the wings and head. Females are almost as bright but they lack the black head markings and bright yellow head and chest and all birds share a pointed beak. Young birds, as with their larger cousins the greenfinches, are paler, duller and streaked but they still have the striking black, green and yellow wings. Also, all siskins have black legs and feet and they are the only one of these four species to share this feature. Serin breeds commonly on the near continent and has long been predicted to colonise the UK, but this has not yet really happened and numbers reaching our shore are actually very low, with just a handful throughout the year, and most of these in coastal southern or eastern locations. If you do suspect you have a serin, the best feature to look for is the bill. It is very short and stubby. Serins are small birds, the same length as a siskin but with stockier bodies and heavy set heads and this combined with the tiny bill gives a very distinctive silhouette. In terms of plumage, serin most closely resembles female siskin, a combination of green and yellow with dark streaking and facial markings. Only the males show extensive yellow, in this case on the head and breast and distinctively on the rump. The wings of all serin lack strong markings, and females lack any yellow at all, with the exception of the yellow rump patch. Juvenile birds and young individuals in summer may not display this feature, lacking any yellow whatsoever, but always they share the dumpy features and the tiny bill, which should confirm identification. If you are faced with a greenish bird at your feeders and have eliminated greenfinch, siskin and serin, then you may have to consider an escaped cage bird and we do get a lot of reports and photos confirming these being sent in. There is a bewildering range of potential species, but by far the most likely, and potentially confusing as well, is canary. Domestic canaries are extremely commonly kept in both indoor and outdoor aviaries, and some birds inevitably escape. Indeed, some are probably released. Many can survive for significant periods of time in the wild. Contrary to popular belief, not all canaries are bright yellow, and they can vary from almost white through yellow to striped greeny brown, similar to their wild progenitors. But often there are a mosaic of patches of these colours. One extreme form is an orangey pink, but this colouring will be lost after any period of time at liberty. The plain yellow familiar canary should be very easy to identify, but ones that share the wild type plumage may be trickier. 
Canaries are bigger birds, quite a bit bigger than siskin. They have a stout rounded bill, much more in proportion to their bodies than serin, and an apparently much longer tail. Colour, for obvious reasons, is difficult to describe, but in some, yellow will be absent entirely. Due to the possibility of escaped canaries, or even other exotic species, it is extremely useful if you can get a photo of a mystery green bird, if you need us to identify it for you, or to confirm whether it is or isn't a serin.